The USA has changed its guidance for fully vaccinated travelers. Vaccinated travelers have been given the green light for international and domestic travel, and you will not need to quarantine on arrival to the US. Although the US travel bans remain in place, and you are still required to wear your face mask, you are free to travel around the world, and will only be required to show a negative test on return. In this video, we discuss the opening of the US travel market with the changing of the CDC guidelines, and what are these new freedoms granted to fully vaccinated travelers. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers so reach out to your IM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on the 2nd of April stated, fully vaccinated people can safely travel at low risk after the agency had held off for weeks on revising guidance that discouraged all non-essential trips. The new CDC guidance specifically greenlights vaccinated grandparents getting on airplanes to see grandchildren, as long as they follow CDC advice for traveling safely. The new guidance states that fully vaccinated people do not need to get a COVID-19 test before or after travel and do not need to self-quarantine after travel. A person is considered fully vaccinated two weeks after their last dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. That gives the body enough time to build antibodies against the virus. The CDC did not revise guidance for non-vaccinated people. Vaccines can help us return to the things we love about life, so we encourage every American to get vaccinated as soon as they have the opportunity," CEC Director Rochelle Walensky said in a statement. The Biden administration is not lifting restrictions that bar most non-US citizens from the United States who have recently been in China, Brazil, South Africa, and most of Europe. It is also keeping requirements that nearly all international US air visitors getting a negative COVID-19 test before traveling to the United States. The CDC's new guidance says fully vaccinated people do not need COVID-19 tests before international travel unless it is required by the international destination and vaccinated people returning from foreign travel do not need to self-quarantine after returning to the United States unless required by state or local authorities. The current administration is also not eliminating any mask rules. Taking preventative measures to stop the spread of COVID-19 is the path out of this pandemic, CEC Director Rochelle Walensky added. The travel industry welcomed the news from the CEC. The CDC's official statement, recognizing that those who have been vaccinated are now at a lower risk of transmission when traveling, is an encouraging step and one that we would like to see replicated in other countries around the world," said Gloria Guevara, President and CEO of the World Travel and Tourism Council. WTTC has been calling for a clear roadmap to reopen international mobility, with pre-departure testing for non-vaccinated travelers only, alongside health and hygiene measures. Despite the delay in commenting whether or not the health organization recommends travel, today's CEC announcement will give a much-needed boost to the sector and will empower US travelers to feel secure in resuming travel. With the green light from the CEC, are you confident to travel again? 
Tell us your plans in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, I am can help. For visa advice, contact your I am visa coordinator. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.